Okay, so we start with our journey as to the subject of land titles. So what are these land titles? Before we proceed with the technical and legal matters regarding the sale, I will give you an overview as to what consists the subject matter. Diba? So, ano yung mga common na nakikita natin? Ano yung mga common na gagawin natin pertaining to land titles? Now, when we talk about land titles, we will always have to transact with the Land Registration Authority. This Land Registration Authority, hmm, ano yun? Yan yung tinatawag nating Register of Deeds. Kumbaga, uh, ito yung mother unit, the Land Registration Authority, which has jurisdiction over all the register of deeds located all over the country. Okay? So that one, the Land Registration Authority. Now, what are the basic requirements for registration? Ano yung mga kailangan natin if we want to register a title? Well, first and foremost, we need the original of the deed or instrument. Kaya nga, land titles and deeds, di ba? So we need that deed. So ano ba yung deed or instrument na ito? Well, basically, the transfer itself requires you to present either a conveyance, which is the deed of sale, or a donation, the deed of donation, or uh, the transfer by means of extrajudicial settlement. Meron din tayong minsan tinatawag na deed of exchange. So you need to present the original document, and if the original cannot be presented, well, you need to have a certified true copy of the document. Uh, Experience-wise, may mga documents kasi like now, it's 2020, and the conveyance was made 80s, di ba? So you can no longer, or the, the, prop, the deed of conveyance could no longer be presented. What, was, uh, what the ROD will require for you is to submit a, a instrument uh, subs uh, certified by the archives that that was the instrument pertaining to that uh, doc page book numbered serial number pertaining to the notarized document. You also need a certified copy of the latest tax declaration of the property. So where do you get that? You get that from the uh, city or municipal assessor's office. Now, if titled property, owner's copy of the certificate of title and all issued co-owner's copy, if any. Okay? So basically, we're, we're really talking here about title property. So you need the owner's copy. As we will know later, there are each title, dalawa yan, isang original, and yung isa naman is the copy with the register of deeds. And the owner's duplicate certificate of title is what we are pertaining to. Okay? Now, an all-issued co-owner's copy. Hmm, pwede ba yun? Multiple uh, titles pertaining to a property. Yes. Uh, Experience-wise, I've seen uh, especially those issued by the department through the, the Department of Agrarian Reform where there are multiple co-owners, multiple tenants. Before, they were issuing, uh, it depends as to the how many uh, registered owners are in the title. If let's say six, there are six copies of the same. And you cannot alter or change that title unless you present all six. Okay? So what happens if pag nawala yung isa? Well, you have to file a, a go to court and have a reissuance of that lost uh, set. Diba? Now, if a document, let's see at the note, ha? if a document was executed abroad, a certificate of authentication by the nearest Philippine consulate is required. So meaning, meaning, even if you are not here, diba, you can continue with the transaction even if you are abroad. But you have to have the document, uh, now it is called apostille, before the consulate or embassy in that foreign country. Diba? So usually what happens is that you do not, you do not uh, have the deed of absolute sale or the extrajudicial settlement of the state or the donation be the one certified. But rather, what is usually for convenience is that you have a special power of attorney uh, being uh, apostilled and thereafter sent to the Philippines for 
the consummation of the transaction at the transaction for and in your behalf. Why is that? Well, for practical purposes, because the fees for the SPA is far uh, lower than the actual deed itself. Okay? Now, if either party is a corporation, the following are also required. Di ba? Meron tayong natural person at may juridical person tayo. Natural, ikaw, ako. Juridical, uh, corporations. Di ba? So if it's a corporation who is transacting, either selling or buying, di ba? There is a need for them, especially if they are the buyer. Especially if they're the buyer, ah, a secretary certificate indicating the authorized signatory and scope of authority. Okay? So there is a secretary certificate board resolution. Also, if you are the seller, that is also required for the authorized representative to sign the instrument of conveyance. Likewise, if you are the buyer, it is far important that you also have a certified copy of the articles of incorporation and the certification from the Securities and Exchange Commission that the articles of incorporation has been registered. Okay? So itong brochure ng LRA is very, very helpful. Okay? Now, for issuance of title transactions. So all issuance of transactions require the following documents aside from the basic requirements. What are these? Di ba? Kala natin, land titles and deeds. Uh, title lang. Yun na yun. Malipat na. Hindi. Meron ka pa ring obligasyon. Obligasyon magbayad ng iyong buwis. Di ba? So you need a BIR certificate authorizing registration. So this pertains when you payment of capital gains tax, donor tax, or estate tax as the case may be. So what is this? This comes from the BIR. How do you do it? The first, first thing that will come to your mind is that when I pay for these taxes, I go to the BIR. But that is a misnomer because you pay taxes through the banks. BIR will not accept money anymore. You have to pay through the banks. Depende kung sa Davao, o di ba? 132 or 113, may mga authorized banks lang to receive for that particular revenue district office. Okay? So, when you pay that, after you pay that, you will email uh, the payment slip and there will be a confirmation by an email to you. After that confirmation of email was sent to you by the BIR, then you will print that together with the other documents and you will submit it to the RDO office. Okay? So when you submit it, after 10 to 20 days, the certificate authorizing registration will be released by the BIR. So, ulitin natin, ha? Uh, this certificate authorizing registration is the approval of the BAR of the documents that you have submitted and the corresponding tax that you have paid. Di ba? How do you determine by the, ano, the capital gains tax, if you could recall? Di ba? Capital gains tax is 6% of the zonal value or market value, whichever is higher. Di ba? Ganun yun. And donor's tax likewise, by advent of the train law, it is also 6%. Okay? And you also have to pay also the documentary stamp tax, which is 1.5%. Now, likewise, you pay the real property. You have to submit a real property tax clearance. So you pay the real property tax. And after that, there will be a certificate from the assessors of, from the uh, city treasurer's office that taxes for the whole year has already been paid. Good thing now about in Davao City, there is now an amnesty for. Uh, delinquent real property taxpayers. So there will be no uh, penalty and interest. It's timing siya. Sumabay siya because currently we still have an ex estate tax amnesty. Diba? So yung mga dormant na mga properties dyan that has yet to be transferred, this is the best time for you to do this. Now, if the land is covered by CARP, uh, diba? Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. A DAR clearance and affidavit of land holding of transfer is needed. Now, likewise, agricultural lands need also this DAR clearance. So you have to go to the regional or the provincial office as 
or the provincial office as, as it is, then you have to secure their clearance because there we have a restriction as to ownership of agricultural lands. Now, additional requirements for specific times of issuance transactions. In extrajudicial settlement, ba, or adjudication, ano ba ito? Well, unfortunately, everybody naman has to, to move on. Diba? We cannot be uh, in this planet forever. So when we move on and we have our properties with us, we cannot take that with us so that it goes to our heirs. And our heirs will execute an extrajudicial settlement. And accordingly, there is a need for publication. It should be an, uh, a publication with a newspaper of local uh, circulation. So there is a need of an affidavit of publication stating the notice of settlement has been published once a week for three consecutive weeks. So you pay for it and it, it will indicate there the title numbers that are part and parcel of the extrajudicial settlement. And it will also tell you who is the notary public who, who notarized that particular document and the date of the same. Now, if minors are involved, there is a need for a court order. You file a petition allowing minor to sell. Diba? Because basically what the rules provide is that the, the sale must redound to the benefit of the minor. And you have to have that court order with you in the processing of the transfer of registration of title. Now, judicial settlement of estate. Diba? May extrajudicial when the heirs voluntarily, diba? why samok, come to an agreement as to how to divide. Diba? Share and share alike. Now, there are instances when there is a disagreement among the heirs as to how to distribute the estate. There would be a disagreement as to one of the heirs would just don't, would not like to sign. Why? Well, so many reasons. And these reasons uh, is contribute to the living of a lawyer. <laughs> diba? So there is a need for a court order approving the partition. Diba? So you file a judicial partition in court and you provide there, you propose to the court that this will be the sharing of the estate. And usually the court will uh, draw lots as to how to settle the estate. And after that, assigning the same, the court will now order the same. Diba? Pwede man istoryahan. Can be just, the heirs can just talk among themselves how to distribute. But if one or two of them disagrees, diba? then they go to court. Because that is the common precept. If one of the heirs will not agree, you cannot really do anything. Uh, you still have a remedy, the judicial settlement of the estate. Now, you need the certificate of finality of that court order. And if the property is being sold or encumbered during the settlement proceedings, the letters of administration, you also submit that to the register of deeds. Now, another one is extrajudicial foreclosure of mortgage. Okay? So this time, diba, this is also an involuntary way when, uh, when somebody forecloses your mortgage property. Diba? Eh, common naman ito when you have a property sub the subject of a real estate mortgage and you will apply an extrajudicial foreclosure when you allow or empower the banks. Diba? This is very common. So there is a need for them to after public auction that the certificate of sale by the sheriff notary public and the approval of the executive judge. Of course, you also pay one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, consolidation of ownership. Okay. So affidavit of consolidation. So after the redemption period has been finished, diba? and there was no redemption, then you have to have an affidavit of consolidation of the title to be under your name. Likewise, judicial foreclosure of mortgage, diba? extrajudicial and judicial foreclosure, you have need to have a approval of the court. But this judicial foreclosure has a full-blown proceeding unlike in extrajudicial foreclosure. Now, court orders the directing the sale by public auction and the deed of sale issued by the 
sheriff. So there is also a court order there. Likewise, execution sales. Di ba? When there is not a, this, that, this does not pertain to real estate mortgage. But rather, when there is a case against you, for example, a sum of collection of money, and then subsequently you are found to be liable. So what happens there? Di ba? They will find a property that is under your name, and they will subject the same to an execution sale. So you will need, uh, you'll be required to provide the notice of levy or attachment, uh, which is annotated. Di ba? And there is also a time for redemption. However, after the lapse of time, a certificate of sale and the final deed of sale in the favor in favor of the usually the financial institution. Now, likewise, the registration sale of subdivision projects. Ngayon, maraming ganyan, di ba? So these subdivision projects usually these are tracts of land, uh, usually ten to twenty hectares. Then after they would uh, consolidate the title of different smaller tight smaller lots, di ba? And they will eventually make that subdivision project and they will now subdivide it, it into smaller lots, usually now 150 to 100 square meters. You also need to submit to the register of deeds the license to sell, the development permit, and the certificate of registration of the developer. Okay? Now, for annotation transactions. What are these annotation of transactions? These are the memorandum and conferences. Diba? Ito yung mga pinapa-annotate mo doon. So, yung mga bad list sa imuhang title. So, all annotation transactions require the following documents aside from the basic requirements. Yung 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, you have to have a real property tax clearance. Diba? And additional requirements for specific types of annotation transactions. Diba? Yung mortgage or lease. Usually, ito yung pinapa-annotate mo. Yung kaya busy ang register of deeds. Mortgages. When you go, when you buy a condominium unit, when you buy a housing uh, lot via uh, BPI, BDO, Metrobank, home loan. Di ba? So you have to submit the same to the bank and you pay the necessary corresponding documentary stock tax. Now, for subdivision and consolidation transaction. So, all subdivision consolidation transactions require the following documents aside from the basic requirements. Well, you have to have a letter request. Usually, this is a, the form of a petition addressed to the Register of Deeds and the Land Registration Authority. Uh, the sepia or polyethylene film of the plan duly approved by the LRA or the Bureau of Land Management. So, dito pa sa Adavo ito, it will be in the Bankal Office, the Bureau of Land Management. Then the blue copy of the plan, ito yung blueprint, yung sepia, yung parang transparent, yung blue copy, literal, color blue. And the original technical descriptions. So you should also have the same approved. Per lot, iba ang technical description yan and duly signed by the head of the Bureau of Land Management. Okay? So that letter request for subdivision or the petition for partition would indicate there how many lots. Diba? And usually for convenience, you also indicate, you already indicate kanino nakapangalan para siguradong hindi magkakamali. Diba? Uh, when I tried this, nakatry kami nito for 1,600 lots. Uh, Isa-isa yun. Um, good, good about it, it was still under the name of the registered owner. We just had to subdivide it first. Diba? But those are the requirements that you need to submit. Okay, so if we change of ownership, the following additional documents are required, di ba? An agreement on partition, re and real estate tax clearance, di ba? And yung, or if, if it was through sale, you have to indicate also, you have to submit the requirements as provided in 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, of course, it was not mentioned there that there is also a need for the policy and the DP before you have to submit. But it's not submitted with the Register of Deeds. It is submitted with the Bureau of Land Management. Okay? Now, for condominium transactions, diba? Ano itong mga condominium? We see left and right now in Davao City, high-rise buildings. Diba? Pag pupunta ka, bibili ka nito, you go to the yung ahente mo. Diba? 
when you go to the ahente, asan ba yung dito sa akin? O, diba? They will point to you the top part, left portion there. O, diba? That piece of air. Excuse me. With that piece, piece of the sky will now be the future site of your place. Unfortunately nga, because of COVID and the left and right earthquakes that we are experiencing, di ba? Itong mga condominium units ang tinamaan talaga. So if, if condominium, a certificate of condominium title are to be issued for the first time, the following are required, di ba? What is the Number one, the master deed, di ba? Meron kasing deed of restrictions ang condominiums. Even subdivisions, they also have a master deed. Ano yung mga restrictions and so forth. Now, the dec uh, declaration of restriction. The diagrammatic floor plan. Letter request for issuance of individual condominium certificate of title. The certificate of registration with the HLURB. The development permit. License to sell. Owner's duplicate of title of the land and all issues to co-owners. Diba? If you will, re we, will all re we will all learn later. A condominium diba, is a corporation. And you have and it is standing on a piece of land. Diba? So you have to submit also the title of the land where the condominium unit will is already uh, constructed, erected. Diba? So you shoulder, you submit that, and in return, the voluminous condominium certificate of title will be given to you. Okay? Now, how do we register? Diba? So, first, you approach the registration information officer to check if you have the complete documents needed for the transaction. So, you have it checked first. Tingnan nila yan isa-isa kung kompleto ka na ba. After that, you have it entered. O, kung kung kompleto ka na, doon pa nila tatanggapin and the entry of the documents. And after that, you will pay. Diba? You will pay the corresponding amount, including the IT fees. Okay? Then we wait. We count. It depends. Siguro, dabaw ngayon, because of the voluminous transactions, three to four months. Unfortunately, because voluminous talaga ang transactions natin dito sa dabaw. Okay? Now, the LRA, diba? ensuring the integrity of the land titling registration system, through the land titling, we have the land titling computerization project. So this is the LARES. Diba? So it, the features are the same is that it protects land titles from loss due to fire, theft, natural disaster, and the normal ravages of time using security-tested document imaging technology. So they scan the documents. Each, all of our documents, not only the title, but all the corresponding document attachments thereto are also being scanned and preserved to determine the history of the aforesaid property. It eliminates fraudulent and inaccurate surveys by using modern digital mapping technologies and duplication of titles. Yes, they recheck, the system rechecks the meets and bounds as provided for in the title itself. Titingnan niya kung magsasarado ba yun. That's why when we, now, ano yung magsara? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0 0.5, back to 1. Ganda nung mula makikita kung nagsara yung title or hindi. So, by virtue of this LARES system, they also recheck. That's why eventually, ngayon, mga ka-experience tayo, there may mga particular experiences na uh, for the longest time, okay naman yung title, tapos ngayon, biglang, hindi pala nagsara. May problema. Di ba? Because na determine ito ng system, okay, and you have to correct that by filing the necessary petition in court. Now maintains online information on titles that is current, complete, and accurate. Ensures the integrity of the land titling registration system through a paperless system, securing through tighter controls over land titles and eliminating fraudulent ones. Well, of course, it the task, the mission here is to eliminate fraud. But, of course, there are so many ways to commit fraud. But, Lares, this system is trying its best. Implement streamlined and standardized procedure processes for reliable and irrefutable land registration procedure. So, ano yung standards sa Davao? That is the standard in Manila. That is the standard in Cebu. 
and increase revenue collection of the government through accurate computation of fees. Kasi standardized yung fees. Computerized siya. So you cannot make patong, you cannot make bawas to the fees. Diba? And one thing good about this is that uh, if I need to get check a title in Baguio or Ilocos or in Manila, I don't really need to go there anymore. I could just request it here in Davao. Diba? Although it takes longer, around a week, but it's much cheaper and far more convenient than me flying all, all the way there to get that. Diba? Kasi online na siya. Diba? Now, we have the manual title. Until now, it's still there, the manual title, because all, all titles were not eliminated. So, ano ito mga manual title? Ito yung mga type written. Diba? Recently, Laris, uh, LRA and the ROD came out with a notice that all titles must uh, all title holders must ensure that their titles are already in the system because uh, for some reason the LRA uh, has already come up I think malapit na siya mag 100% na fully computerized na lahat now it doesn't mean that the manual titles will be replaced it just means that we are all encouraged to check if our titles are indeed already farm part of the computerization process. How do we do that? You get a certified true copy of your title. If your title is already in the system, then good. Okay? It should be under the system. So manual title, type written. Now we have the e-title, the computerized one. So literally, yung manual title, type written. E-title, yung printer ng computer ang to print. Okay? And they're all printed in this what we call judicial forms. Okay? Now, what are the so four sources of title? What we will learn through this semester is that uh, titles are either uh, <coughs> titles or awards of uh, confirmation of ownership of your title of your property are done either to the courts the DENR, Department of Environment, Natural Resources, or, Dep or the DEN, the Department of Agriculture or Natural Resources. This pertains to patents. Malikan ko, courts, awards through PD-1529. TAR, Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law. NC NCIP, di ba? This pertains to Indigenous People Reform Law. So these are the four sources of title. I have here samples as to ano yung mga itsura nila. Di ba? Court. Di ba? Look at this example. Original Certificate of Title and Loco. Republic of the Philippines Court of First Instance. Yung mas mga ano na po pwede. It states there, in the decree number, it states there that there was judgment which court made an award. Di ba? Pertaining to the particular title. So that is what we will learn now in the semester pertaining to PD 1529. Now, DNR or the DANR, di Original Certificate of Title, look oh, Ministry of Natural Resource, Homestead Patent. Oh, di ba? So it's signed there by the Natural Resource, Deputy Minister of Natural Resource. Dito sa kabila, judge eh. Balikan natin yung ano. It is emanates from the judge. There is a court decision. And it is sent, uh, judge of the court, okay? Philippine, Pablo, ayun, nakalagay, oh. If you look at it closely. But this time, in, ano, DNR, DNR, <coughs> it stipulate, it states there who was the approving authority, okay? Ito naman, Department of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Homestead Patent. We will learn later the different types of Patent, di ba? Iba itong patent na ito class doon sa patent sa intellectual property ha. Now, we have the Department of Agrarian Reform. Di ba? Because we have the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law. So ito yung itsura niya, color orange. Orange or rose. Ganun ang color niya. So this time, di ba? Secretary of Agrarian Reform. And usually, uh, 
it stems from the transfer a CLOA, Certificate of Land Ownership Award. It is a TCT because there is an original title. Diba? And from the original ho holder, it is transferred to the awardee or the uh, ano yung Agra agrarian beneficiary. Agrarian reform, ABR. Agrarian, the ARB, agrarian reform beneficiary. So yan siya, CLOA. And you could look, there is a restriction there. It could not be sold, alienated, conveyed for a period of 10 years. Okay? So there, there is what you call here a restriction on the face of the title itself. Now we have the NCIP. Oh, Ganon din siya, original certificate of title. Di ba? So this original certificate of title was through the Office of the National Commission on Indigenous People. So in this title, oh, tignan mo, it's not NCIP, it's not placed under the name of particular individual, rather as to the tribe, Bilaan and Taga Kaulo. Oh, di ba? Tignan mo ito. This was issued in 2008. Uh, tignan mo, the members of the NCIP signs the same. Oh. It also provides for the uh, judetic points, the technical description of the same. Look at the area. Oh. It, ha, it is ano, oh, 74,800 hectares. It is square meters. Ah. Hectares. Yeah. So, garun ka vast ang laki ng mga, ng mga ano, uh, certificate of ancestral domain title kanti. Okay? So within their ano, within their within the ancestral the IP community, they also have their own process as to how they go about the transfer of property among themselves. And we can see meron itong ano nila, certificate of land transfer. So within their recognize scheme as to how to transfer land within them. They have internal uh, ROD, kumbaga. Uh, so my certificate of ancestral domain award from the NCIP. Now, subsequent transfer. What is this subsequent transfer? Di ba? So, ito siya, uh, TCT number 50905, di ba? TCT, Transfer Certificate of Title. Pag original, original certificate of title. So, yung pag TCT mo siya, ka, ano, it is subsequent. Hindi siya yung first. Subsequent siya, uh, kinalaunan. Okay? Yan, TCT, Transfer Certificate of Title. So, this one, under a corporation naman. Now, a condominium certificate of title. This is what I'm telling you. So, in a condominium unit project, there are what? Minimum a thousand of these. Diba? So, ganun din. Uh, what we have here, example, is a CCT for a parking area. Uh, diba? But yung parking lot, it has its own title. So this one, oh, 12 square meters. More or less now in Davao, parking area, 1 million. Diba? Mahal, no? It's mahal pa sa bahay. Now, what are the important things that you should not forget? Diba? So, well, the deed of conveyance. Why is it important? Well, frankly speaking, when you become a fresh lawyer, a newly signed, newly minted lawyer, chances are the first clients that you will have that you can bill an appropriate amount would be these deeds of conveyances. The sale, extrajudicial settlement state, and donation. Roughly, it's provided in the IBP guidelines, it should be 3% of the value. Diba? Good luck with that. 3% of the value. Diba? So that is why it is important. Wala na kayong baon yan. Remember, diba? Now, things that you should, ano, 
uh, know by now, di ba? Para may idea kayo. This one is the tax declaration. What a tax declaration looks like in Davao City. Uh, di ba? It's color green for land, blue for building. If you will transfer later, there is a need for you to complete it, land and building. If there is no building, you have to secure a certificate of no improvement. And it will include there, oh, look at the right portion, the market value. Why is it important? Diba sabi nga natin, zonal valuation or market value, whichever is higher. Or the, may third pala, yung naka-indicate sa deed of absolute sale. So based on sa tatlo, that is how you determine now the tax for the aforesaid transaction. Okay? Now, this is a sample of certificate authorizing registration. This one, manual pa ito. Okay? Ano yung itsura niya? Dapat pala, ano, hanapan ko kayo ng ano. Ganyan din halos yung ano, electronic, computerized lang talaga. Because this one, ito, it looks uh, computerized, pero this, they use electric typewriter for this one. But what we have now is uh, the car now is electronic printed out na talaga lahat sa computer. This is a sample of the bill, the payments that you have to make with the register of deeds, the assessment, entry fees, issuance title, annotation, annotation, legal fund. Tingnan ninyo ito. Observe this. Ah. Ang, ang, dito sa taas, that is what the government will collect. Dito sa babala, IT services assessment, that is what the, uh, what do you call this, IT service will collect. Di ba? Malaki rin ang IT service, no? Uh, eh, yan yung partner natin for computerization. Okay? So, I end with that regarding the basics as to land titles and deeds. Then we will start with the introduction of the uh, the, the legal origin of land titles and deeds in our system. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope you learned something from that, and you are inspired of word of, inspired by the same. Okay, thank you. <laughs>